For the past five days, I've been trying out the double or bust horse racing strategy. Now, it isn't going to be the simple way you'd normally think this strategy works, but we've added a few little different changes to try and increase the amount of times we actually get it, the strategy to work. It might not give, bring in as much profit as if you were just following the normal double or bust, but it can sometimes bring in a bigger yield overall. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So if you're completely new to the channel and don't know what we do over here, we do loads of different methods online of trying to make money. The majority of the time we try out some Betfair strategies. Sometimes we'll go look at websites. And then every Wednesday we also have a so rare video out there as well. So if any of that sounds like you'd enjoy it, please do be sure to hit the subscribe button. But let's get into it. So for those of you who don't know what double or bust actually is, if we just come over to Betfair, it is quite a simple strategy. So if we just load up a random horse race here just to show you how this works, double or bust is essentially where you go in and you back a horse. So let's say we're backing this horse here at odds of 14. We're going to go in with a stake of £10, so we put that in there. And then all you're going to do automatically before the race even starts is come over to lay. You're going to lay them for half the odds, so in this case it will be 7 and you're going to lay them for double the stake. So if we come over here in the stake section, we'll put in £20. And then if that gets matched throughout the race, you can see we're going to get a guaranteed full stake back. So we're going to get our initial £10 stake back straight away. Now the reason this is a good strategy is because although you may think looking over here that you're going to put up £120 worth of liability, that is not the case. Because your £10 bet over here will get matched first. And then for this to get matched down here at the bottom, you've already got liquidity in the market. You're never going to lose more than that £10 you've put in. So although it is in total your liability is 120 you probably will need it in your account to get started here. Just to get it placed. Or to get it even in the queue to get placed. Unless you just place the back bet first and then come back a second later and place the lay. But... This double or bust will only either lose you £10 or get you £10, obviously with the 2% commission taken off. So you're never going to lose more than your initial stake. You could go in here with £100, which would then obviously mean your stake down here has to be 200 And you can see if this gets matched, you will get £98 profit. So the bonus here with double or bust is the amount of stats you've got available. So if we did want to actually place on Harry Berry and you, and we wanted to see how good of a runner they are, how likely they are to hit that double or bust, it's quite simple. All we need to do is come over to time form, get the race loaded up, so we're at the 1 o'clock at Leicester, and then we'd have to find our horse. Now, you do have to have an account with time form, but it's completely free, and it is a great asset to have. So we're going to open up new Berry and you, and you can see their past races down here. Now for the purpose of this week, what I've been doing is just looking at their last 10 races. So what I'll do is I'll count down the side. So we've got five there and we've got five there. So that makes it very easy. So we're just looking at these top 10 last races. And then you're going to use these two columns over here. You've got your Betfair starting price, which is at the starting point of the race, what their Betfair price is. So that may not be this price over here. It may not be 14. Their odds may drift or shrink by the time it gets to the start of this race but this will still give us a good indicator over on time form so you can see this is the price they started at and then this is the high or low they got to in betfair as you can see the high low betfair in player prices with a payout of more than 100 pounds so what we're looking for here is a starting price that then halves over in the low section so we've got odds of nine there that dropped to eight that is not a double or bust We've got 12 that goes to 2, so we've got 1 double or bust. We've essentially got 2 there. I know it's not quite right. We don't have 1 there. Definitely don't have 1 there. So you can see, actually, out of this initial 10, we've only got 3 of the last 10. That is an actual double or bust. So, obviously, logic would dictate there you don't try this horse for a double or bust. But my thoughts with this were, yes, you can make a lot of profit going in for double your money so you can go in with that 10 pounds and then your 20 pounds for the half of the stake down here or half of the odds but there is a huge range of other options available there for you to get in between so although hitting that 50 percent drop 
in odds in play might be quite a rarity to happen. You could maybe go in where you're expecting the odds to drop by 40%, 30%, 20%. Or if you're extremely confident with a horse, you could look at getting odds matched where the odds drop 70%, 80%. So what I've done for the past week is I've literally loaded up Timeform and Betfair and I've looked through the races and I've looked at all the horses that are racing, looked at their last 10 and made note of every single one of them. So if we come over to our spreadsheet over here, you can see which ones I've used. So you can see these are all the races I've done. I've done about four or five a day. Yesterday I did eight just to get the numbers up for this one. But you can see what I've done. I've put in the date, the race, which horse it is, whether or not I would actually place a double or bust on this horse. So you can see in this yes or no column, the ones with N, the ones I definitely wouldn't have done, and the ones with the Y are the ones I would have done. Any of the ones that are in yellow over here, as you can see by this little marking over here on to the right hand side, I'd keep note of the horse and check them over the next few races. That is because they've either not had enough races done yet, so they've only done three or four races, or they've just come shy of the odds you'd expect them to get. Now the beautiful thing about time form itself is if you find a horse, so say for example this horse has had a great record of double or busts, you can set up email notifications on the left hand side. So you can get evening before here or race morning and then you're going to get an email from time form the evening before this horse races and the morning of the race. So you'll know when a horse is coming up that you can do a double or bust on if they've got a history of it. And you can also put notes in here to help remind you even more. But the next column on this spreadsheet, as you can see, is the percentage of double or busts in their last 10. So you can see we've had some who've had 100%, but obviously this is yellow, so you know he hasn't had 10 races yet. But you can see we've had 10%, 100% I should say, we've had 90%, we've had 40%, we've had zero and 10. We've had a huge range, just to see if there's any sort of correlation with the statistics. We've then got the stake I would have normally gone in for, which will always just have been £10, and then the starting odds of all the horses. Then, as soon as the race finished, or the next day in most cases, it would come up and tell us the lowest odds that were available over on time form. So I'd come over here and I'd enter in this section. So as you can see, that's with all the odds added in here. We got a down to under 20% on this one, but we got a massive jump on this one here. You can just see the range in odds that have been affected there. Now what I then did was added in this section over here, which is going to tell us our profit. So the 50% column is a double or bust. The odds dropped by over 50%, so that would have got matched. We then have sections here where if the odds dropped by 60%, so it was a 40% bet we would have been able to get matched, we would have got more profit than a double or bust more so with 30 and 20 but then we've also got the opportunities up here with 60 70 80 and 90 percent where we still would have made a profit just a lower profit on the horse so if we just get this automatically filled up here just to save time you can see just how it ranges depending on what the percentage is so for this horse here his odds started at 8.0 and dropped to 1.54 which means his odds dropped by 81 percent in the end so dropping by 81%, you can see we managed to get to 19% will be the lowest bet we could have got matched based off the starting odds. So that means we would have got the profit from 20%, 30%, 40%, any of these if we have chose to put that on. And there was a double or bust there because it got past the 50% mark. Now, if I'd have placed all of these as a double or bust, you can see down below, we would have lost £71.80. So obviously that wouldn't have worked very well, but you also then need to take into account that I wouldn't have actually placed some of these. So if we just get rid of the ones with the N next to them, because you can actually see here, there is a big disparity when it comes to the stats you can research with this. There is a correlation between horses that have hit double or busts before and horses that haven't, and whether or not they will actually bring you in a profit. Only from a small sample of data, I understand that, but I don't see why this wouldn't continue over a bigger section of data. So if I just sort this by which ones brought in the most and which ones didn't bring in anything, you can kind of see instantly that the ones that brought in the most did have a bigger selection of double or busts. 
Don't get me wrong, we had a few down here at the bottom that still brought in some double up busts and just didn't get it. You're going to get anomalies from time to time. There are also a case up here where this horse had 50% double or bust. And we wouldn't have placed that because I was looking at 60% and above. But you can then see here, he would have brought us in a really nice profit in return. So it will vary. It's not going to work 100% of the time, otherwise everyone will be doing it. But this still allows us to see that the majority of the time, you're looking at that, to be honest, 70% or above. Because if you see down here, these ones were both 60%. So before this little experiment, I thought 60% would be good enough. Apparently not. So if you just focus on that 70% and above even, and then we remove these two out of the equation, and then just get the races that we would have placed bets on, you can see the range of the profits we would have got. First of all, we would have got a profit in every single column. Regardless of which one we would have gone on to place, we would have got a profit on all of them. Even at the 90% mark, where we would have only made £2, because we only had one loss. So you can see that one's probably not worthwhile doing. But you can also see here the range of profits that are available. So I wanted to do this to try and learn before I got into doing double bus myself, which is the best opportunity for profit. So if we just get scrolled in a little bit here, and I'm just going to include the actual percentage of double or bust over here from their last races just to make it a little bit easier to look at at a glance so out of the last 10 this one got 100 percent 90 percent 67 percent and so on so you can see the double or bust itself the middle of the round the 50 percent drop has brought in one of the bigger returns it would have brought in the 38 pounds 40 pence which is the third highest return so maybe after looking at this from just this small sample you can kind of see that it might be more opportunistic and might bring you in more of a profit if you actually went for either the 40% if you are feeling a bit more confident or the 60%. Maybe they are both better options than this 50% double or bust section. Now if you wanted to do that, it does get a bit more complex. It's not just going to be as simple as halving the odds and doubling the stake when it comes to placing your double or bust it's going to be a bit more complex but i have got a little quick way of working it out for you so don't worry about that too much but as you can see if i was to have done all these horse races that i said i would have done at the start of the week with a 10 pound stake or even down here with a 100 pound stake at odds of a 60 percent drop we would have got 776 pound returns at odds of 60 percent so a 40% drop, we would have got 453% or £453 profit. And then at the 50%, we would have only got the 384 So you can kind of see there how it does vary. Now, you might think coming in at the only the 10% drop over here would have been the more reliable strategy. And you can see it is reliable. You do hit that the majority of the time when you've done the research. But it only takes one there to completely wipe out your profit. So that is definitely not worth doing. There is very limited risk with that one. But there is also very limited reward if it just doesn't come in once or twice. Even arguably the next step up isn't ideal. I think if you are looking at this as a potential strategy for you to do. That 40 to 70% is really where you should be aiming to use and utilise. But then your own criteria after that is completely up to you. But let me just quickly show you then. How you can decide what odds to go in at when you've got your race predetermined. So if you're looking at a race, for example, let's just get back to this one o'clock at Leicester. If you want to place a bet on get by, it is really simple. You've got 10.0 odds there. You know what you're going to have to lay out. So say you wanted to go in at this 40% drop, a 40%, sorry, a 40% of your total stake there, 40% of your odds that you're starting at then it, that is very simple because you're just going to go in at odds of four there is no other way around that it is just that simple you've got a 60 percent drop off you're doing 40 percent of your original odds so that is four compared to ten then you might be getting a bit more confused as to how much to put on so for example we'd start with a 10 pound stake there and then we'd want to get our profit guaranteed to be that 14 pound 70. Now you can just sit here and play around with it and edit things around but 
the quickest way. I don't know if anyone else has found a quicker way than this to do it. If you have, please do let me know. But I'm just going to come over to Match Betting Blog, which is the free site you can use, which has a Match Betting Calculator on. I'm going to put my back stake in here of 10 and my lay stake down here of 4. I'm then going to put in my odds of 10 down here as well and my lay commission of 2%. And that's going to give us a rough little amount we can put in. So you can see we, it's telling us to lay £25.13. pence. We come over here, we put that in, and you can see if that gets matched, we're getting roughly that £14.70. pence. So that is exactly what we'll be looking at, and it is really simple to do. The issue you've got is when it's a bit more of a complex odds. So say we've got this 3.95 over here. You're going to grab yourself a calculator, do 3.95 and times it by 0 0.4 if that's the one you want to go at. If you want to go in at 50%, 0 0.5, 60%, 0 0.6, 70%, 0 0.7 and so on. So nice and simple. You're then going to say there the odds we're going to go in and lay at, which is 1.58. So we're just going to get that selected down here. Put that in. Again, put in our £10 stake over here. Copy our odds over to the match betting calculator. And again, it's going to automatically tell us down there what lay stake is required so it looks like it's pretty pretty standard and pretty simple to work out when it comes to the 23 pounds 32 pence for the 10 pound stake now of course it's not going to be exact with changing odds and looking at things in different variables and everything like that. it's not going to be the same amount every time you can see it's going to be roughly around that mark so we've got there 15 pound if the horse doesn't win 14 pound 52 if the horse does win it's going to be roughly around that £14 mark. It's not going to change too drastically. You can see that even if you go up to odds of 400, if you were somehow managing to find a horse with that high odds, it drops down to 160 after you do the 40%. You do the little calculator over here on Match Betting Blog. And then you can see again over here, it's £14.70 profit or loss for the 40% mark. But that is pretty much it for this video. I know there isn't too much of back research here, but I still think it is a valuable little amount of data to have. You can see that over the course of these, it did match in terms of profit. We only had three disparities down here at the bottom or three anomalies, but again, that's taught us that 60% maybe isn't worth it and we should bump ourselves up to 70% and above. And if we'd have bumped ourselves up to 70% and above, as you saw from before, if we just take out these two, or even 65% and above by the looks of this, we would have got a huge profit on the 0 0.4. And you can see anyone that is 65% and down, we very rarely hit it and got a profit. So although it wasn't a huge amount of back research and data to look at, it kind of does automatically there show us some quite good returns and shows us quite a good trend in the data but let me know down in the comments if you're someone who used double or busts let me know what you kind of look out for let me know if you've switched or strayed from that 50 percent do you now do that 0 0.4 or the 0 0.6 have you found them to be a bit more or less profitable or do you really just go balls to the wall and go for the 0 0.2 and try and get that 32 percent profit or 320 percent profit i should say on your initial stake let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you're going to give Double Up Bust a try. I know Cheltenham's just around the corner. I think it's going to be a very nice time to try out this strategy a bit more. And it's definitely something I'm going to do. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you've got any suggestions for any other videos we can do on the channel, please do be sure to let me know. I'm always looking for ideas. It can be absolutely anything, and I'll give it a go. But thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.